guys! Welcome back to my channel and um, welcome to my channel kung bago pa lang kayo and welcome back to me. Ang tagal na bago ako nakapag-film ulit and I'm really happy that I'm finally back. Well, as you may know, I celebrated my birthday last week or last last week and nagpunta kami sa Cebu and since then, hindi pa ako nakapag-film. Like talagang sit down talking to you, filming. Well, I'm back with another video at hindi lang isang video. May kasunod pa tong tatlo. This is a four-part video and um, itong haul video na to eh para may ideas tayo kung ano ba yung mga best gift this coming Christmas, especially that magkabilaan ng mga Christmas party. In a few weeks, marami na sa inyo magka-Christmas party and maghahanap ng mga exchange gift. Kaya ito yun. And para samahan tayo sa ating Daiso Hall, uunahin na natin ng Daiso. Uh, gusto ko munang mag-hello sa ating special guest for today. Ito ang ating special guest for this afternoon. Ayan, so dito muna kami ngayon. Medyo lumayo ako ng konti para meron siyang space. Ipapakita natin sa kanila. Ipapakita mo. Yay! Daiso Hall! Okay, unahin ko na para siya ay... Ay, nairita na siya. Wait lang, ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na. Ay, ay, sit lang, stay lang, oh. Stay lang, oh, may papakita tayo. Dali, importante, dali. Oh, de ba? Unahin ko na yung unang nabili namin. Okay, na-excite siya. Um, ito. <laughs> Wala lang. Uh, binili ko talaga to for Spike. Tingin nga, para kay Spikey, oh. Wow! <laughs> Ah, ba diba, kasyang kasyang spy ko, may pang Christmas ka na. <laughs> Alam nyo, ayaw na ayaw niyang may something sa ulo niya. Kaya naiirita na siya ngayon kasi nakita niya to. Alam niyang para sa ulo niya, kaya na yan ay inis yan ngayon. Ayan. Okay na, okay. Thank you for guesting. So, yon Okay na. So, ang susunod natin ngayon ay... Um, ito, bumili ako ng ribbon para din kay Spike. So, halos lahat ng mga nakikita ko um, sa Daiso ay eh, para lang kay Spike. Well, for those of you na hindi nakakalam, yung Daiso kasi lahat sila 88 pesos. Siyempre, may mga products na more than 88 pesos and meron ding less than uh, 88 pesos. Like this one, 10 pesos lang to. Uh, simpleng ano lang naman siya, ribbon, tapos may garter lang din siya. And iniisip ko din, baka pwede ko yun siyang gawing headband para dito. ba diba? Why not? Suot nga natin. Yan. Okay. Hmm. Gano'n na lang. Oh, hello kitty. Ito. 88 pesos din to. Nakita nyo ba? So, mga container to na maliliit sa natin. Kasi, um, sa susunod na video, malalaman nyo kung bakit ako bumili nito. Pero, para din to sa, siguro kung nagbabaon ako or si, si Pat, para meron siyang lalagyan ng sausawan. Ayan. At saka, magagamit din to sa pang-sanitize ng, for example, um, lagyan lang ito ng alcohol, tapos mag-sanitize kayo ng, let's say, brushes or or anything, or pwede rin siyang panglinis ng brush, ilalagay mo dito yung um, solution mo, tapos ayan na lang yung panglinis mo sa brush. So, alam kong marami sa inyong humihiling ng Daiso haul, tsaka Daiso makeup tutorial, Daiso review, and so on and so forth. So ngayon, yes, pinabigyan ko na kayo. Bumili na ako ng Daiso Makeup para gawan kayo ng tutorial. At saka ngayon, gagawa natin siya ng first impression. So, unahin ko na to. Okay, this is 88 pesos din. And, uh, sasabihin ko na lang pag hindi siya 88 pesos, ah. Okay? So, ito, ang tawag dito, face washing brush. So, sinasabi, parang panglinis siya ng, ng face. Kapag, you know, pagtanggal niyo ng makeup, at yung gagamitin niyo para kuwang-kuwa yung pores. But for me, instead of cleaning my face with this, kasi for sure, you know, I won't feel comfortable cleaning my face with this. Na parang, nafe-feel ko na na alam kong hindi siya like sobrang linis. Gagamitin ko siya for my brushes. I don't know. I think yung ganitong texture na parang rubbery and silicone just meant for the brushes, not for the face. Kung lilinisin ko yung face ko and gusto kong thorough cleaning, I'd rather use a cloth na lang. Kung lilinisin niyo yung brushes niyo with this, so ipit niyo lang din sa fingers niyo, tapos, yun, tapos rub niyo lang siya pag may soap. Diba? Mas, mas nafe-feel ko na effective siya. Next, we go on sa base foundation. And this is the Ever Bilena Stick Foundation. In fairness, meron silang stick foundation. And this is, um, no? In Japanese lahat, so wala ko naiintindihan. This is in the shade Japanese then, so hindi ko rin masasabi sa inyo, pero... Ganyan ang itsura niya, okay? Surprising sa akin na meron silang stick foundation at 66 pesos lang. Alam niyo, nabili ko sa dollar store na 99 pesos. I thought yun ay pinakamurang foundation na, na nahanap ko sa buong buhay ko. Pero hindi, nagkakamali ako. Record-breaking ito. Ito na ang pinakamurang foundation na nakita ko sa buong buhay ko. 
It looks like this. And uh, pagbukas mo, ayun na yung stick foundation niya sa loob. Tapos roll niyo lang siya. So, medyo dark yata yung nakuha ko, but I think that's okay. And I'm really happy na yellow tone shade siya. Hindi siya pink. It's more of, you know, yellow orangey, but I'm happy kasi workable yun than, you know, pink tone shades. So, I'm really happy. So, let's try swatching this one at the back of my hand. Ayun. Kita niyo ba? Yes, it is darker. A lot darker. And uh, let's feel it. Ooh. Mm. Medyo parang oily siya. So, we'll see. For sure, magagawa naman natin ito ng paraan. So, punta na tayo sa kasunod. This is a Silk Touch uh, Beige 20 Pressed Powder. And uh, try natin buksan. So, I already expected na baka hindi sobrang ganda ng formula ng stick foundation. Or it could be really sticky. And lo and behold, sobrang nga niyang, um, sobrang niyang greasy and oily. So, buti na lang talaga kinuha ko tong pressed powder. And I'm happy kasi maganda yung shade niya. Yellow tone din yung shade. Kaya, parang feeling ko, okay naman siya. Magagawin din natin siya ng paraan. Maganda yung feeling niya sa, sa finger. Tapos, try natin siyang ipat sa taas nung foundation. So, yeah. So, I think this can work. I mean, for... For 88 pesos and 66 pesos, di ba? Yung mga ganong presyuhan, um, magda tayong magre-reklamo. Actually, try natin uh, i-matify tong ilong ko. See? Effect naman siya. So next, kumuha ako ng blush. And this is the LFR Princess Duo Cheek. Um, a duo color cheek in orange. Meron siyang three shades or at least yun yung nakita ko. Meron siyang strawberry, peach, and orange. So, ang kinuha ko yung orange one. Okay, sa loob niya, meron siyang maliit na mirror. Tapos, meron siyang applicator din. Tapos, yung two shades. Uh, color, parang salmon pink at saka peach na may shimmers. So, I think pwede na rin naman tong highlighter. So, swatch natin. Unahin ko na yung lighter shade. Okay. So, highlighter pala din talaga siya. Okay, I'm really happy na hindi ko kinuha yung isa. Kasi, this is perfect for highlighting. Check this out. Nakikita niyo ba to? Ang pigmented niya sa finger. Try na. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Pigment to the max. Although, maraming fallout. Maraming nalalaglag. But... It's definitely pigmented. <sighs> this, you know, discoveries in life. I'm so happy about this. For sure, yung kanilang eyebrow pencil ang raved about. Hope it works. This is like a dupe for Etude House. Exactly, you know, the same color, the same packaging even. So this is the eyebrow pencil in brown. So try natin tong pencil. Okay, not bad. It's not that easy to glide on. Alam yun, medyo matigas yung factor niya. This is definitely not bad. I love the shade. It's very natural. It's not too red. It's not too dark. It's not even, you know, grayish or black. So, I really do love it. This is like the perfect brown shade na hanapin ko in an eyebrow pencil. Uh, the only problem is that hindi siya ganun kadaling i-blend. Siguro lumabas lang yung color sa second or, uh, second or third glide ko nung product. Kung medyo mahirap na siyang i-apply at the back of your hand, for sure, mas mahirap siya sa mismong eyebrows. Kasi, minsan, di ba, may tendency maging oily, tapos maraming buhok. So, yun lang yung dilemma. Next, I got this eyeshadow palette. And this is in the shade um, Natural Brown. This is Pearl in Eyeshadow. Napaka-simple lang ng lalagyan nila, no? Alam mo yung bulat-latin mo lang, nandito na yung product. So, I think itsura niya, I like the packaging. I mean, simple and cute and natutuwa ako dun sa shades. Actually, sa unang tingin mo pa lang, parang ako, okay, that's that's my kind of eyeshadow palette. So, it comes in four um, four shimmery shades, all of them. Oh, tama ba? Yes. Lahat sila may pearls and may, you know, tiny glitters. And meron siyang applicator na kasama. In fairness, maganda yung color niya. Hindi siya overly pigmented, pero may color siya. And for me... This will definitely work kasi walang butas. I mean, pagka-apply kong ganun, one glide, you'll see buo, hindi, you know, chunky whatsoever. And for an 88 peso palette, this is, this is worth more than 88 pesos. Ooh! Oh my gosh! 
I'm loving the shade so far. This is bronze. And you know me when it comes to bronze and tan. Lalo na tinitag pa pa itim ako. Okay. Hu, nagpapalpitate ako. Feeling ko parang... <laughs> ooh, ooh, wow. Okay, ito, you know, not as pigmented sa first one. Try natin kung buildable. Okay, still light. It's lighter than I thought. Okay. Third, and it's there. And then last but not the least, itong shade na to. And there. I am really surprised and I'm really excited. Dumiretso na tayo sa, um, dito, sa shiny eyeshadow. Um, the only reason na binili ko to is that feeling ko kasi baka hindi as pigmented ngay eyeshadow. So parang sabi ko, kailangan ko ng something dark. So I'm trying this out. This is the shiny eyeshadow in black. So, ayan. Nakikita niyo yung shade dito sa dulo. So, may pink, may silver ako nakita. Pero ito na lang natatanging black na nakita ko. So, I grabbed it. Para siyang crayon. Try natin. Ooh! That is pigmented as heck. Ooh! I'm happy so far. <laughs> I am so excited sa tutorial. Sobra niyang pigmented. And it was so easy to glide on. I am so impressed. We'll try natin siyang i, you know, e smudge. Okay, it's definitely not smudge proof, but I understand kasi this is actually meant to be an eyeshadow, so meaning um dapat talaga madali siyang i-blend. Um oh, nakalimutan ko pala para sa brows. I also got this one. This is the eyebrow coat. Um supposedly yung nakalagay dito Put a little on the brush and lightly apply one coat in a single stroke. I don't know what it's for exactly. I believe parang matame yung brows. If that's the thing, that's good. Kasi hindi ako kumuha ng eyebrow mascara because I wanted to try this out. Kasi kapag kumuha ako ng mascara, um, hindi na siya kasha sa 1,000 pesos. Maliit lang siya. Clear. And try ko kung ano maging effect sa kamay. Basa pa siya, medyo matagal siyang matiyo. So, we'll carry on to the next product. And this one is the Magical Eyeliner in Black. This is a liquid eyeliner. And um, supposedly claims to be, you know, waterproof. So, it comes in a, you know, normal brush tip for liquid eyeliner. Wala siyang amoy, which is good. Okay, so try natin siya dito. So, watch natin siya here. And... Oh my God! Unang-una sa lahat. It is so black. I kid you not. Lalong-lalo na sa personal. Tapos, ang bilis niyang matuyo. Halos nag-set na siya. And, hindi siya nag-run. It has completely dried. Let's see. Wow. Okay. That is much proof. Wala akong water, to be honest. Uh, meron akong solution for contact lens. So, ewan ko. Try na lang natin. Ooh. Medyo may nag-run siya ng konti. Nagkita niyo But, Hindi siya totally nag smudge. This Daiso haul is one of the you know most amazing things na nangyari so far. And last but not the least, I got the lip gloss, which is the bright light lip gloss in the shade I don't know. So this shade is somewhat parang coral, um, salmon pink. It's more of orangey in a red, so it it looks natural. Chaka parang matchy sa aking ribbon. Oh, in fairness! Bakit siya may ilaw? May, pa, may pa ilaw ang lip gloss. Ano ang daming pasabog nitong Daiso products in all fairness. Okay, try na natin yung swatch. May ilaw. Effective ba yung ilaw? Oo oh, nga, effective. Pero color blue yung labi ko. Oh, nice. Ayan, una light siya. Try natin ipatungan pa ng sobrang dami. Ang oh, Nice! Okay, I think I can make this work. Wala rin siyang amoy, which is good. I'm really, really happy. Actually, the least pigmented lang sa kanilang lahat ay yung stick foundation. But the rest, everything was pigmented. Everything was a big surprise for me. This will be my first time trying them out. Well, let me know if you've tried any of these. And uh, kung excited na kayo sa tutorial, I'm thinking of, you know, a good look talaga na pasok dito sa lahat nito. Again, lahat ng makeup products, uh, 1,000 pesos or even less than 1,000 pesos lang Lahat? Kasi, in totality, ang lahat ng nagasos ay 1,132 pesos. 
sa lahat ng yon At gusto kong pasalamatan again ang aking sponsor. My mama, mommy, thank you. <laughs> thank you sa birthday gift. Ang iyong paday sa shopping. Maraming salamat. Pero yun talaga yung request ko. Kaya thank you so much. That's it, Pansit. If you like this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the other brands na ipapakita ko sa inyo for this uh, four-part um, haul video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All at Rizal Kontawi. Guys, I'll see you next time. And I'll see you sa tutorial and sa other videos. Bye!